GMK Tech Knockbox G2 is a very small yet highly functional PC. It has three USB ports, two LAN ports, 3.5mm jack, power is delivered via the USB Type-C. This here is cooling exhaust and you can actually see heatsink inside of it. Moving on to the other side, we have two HDMI and one display port. And at the front, a power button. This particular model comes with 12GB of DDR5 memory and 512GB SSD. In the box with the PC we are getting a spare top side panel. You can swap the colors. Power supply with USB-C connection. HDMI cable. Vase mount. Warranty card and user manual. Here's what it looks like as part of my setup. Nice and compact. I'm currently downloading a game from Steam and the fans kicked on. Let's have a listen. If you're sitting in a completely silent room, then that is audible. However, the noise is very subtle. It doesn't bother me at all. And here's the reason why those fans kicked on. The CPU is 100% loaded because the game is being installed right there. This is a 4-core, four 4-thread four CPU, so don't expect a lot from it. With that said, for day-to-day -day activities, this PC is not slow by any means. You open windows, they open up quickly, very responsive, you can go online, read the latest news from video cards, for example, what is new? Oh, new Intel CPUs. Let's take a look at that. AMD news, more Intel news, opens up nice and quick. Yeah, this is a smooth experience. Working with Microsoft software is easy as well. Here I have uh, an Excel sheet opened up with lots of data. And it is easy to work with. There we go. That right there is standard SATA SSD speed. What about watching videos? Let's see. Navigating YouTube is fast. The video playback is nice and smooth. This is a pretty good experience. We can skip to the next part very easily. Everything appears to be working fine. You can connect a wireless controller to play some light games. Let's check out Hades. This is 720p because I couldn't quite get a good uh, performance at 1080p. It was something like uh, 29, 30 FPS. In contrast, at 720p we are getting above 40 FPS and sometimes even above 60. For example, right now I'm seeing 57, 58. Nice. While gaming at 720p is not something I am enjoying, it is still not bad for such a budget-friendly PC with just four cores and integrated graphics. I'm really getting punished over here. Yes, <laughs> I'm poisoned. Let's go. Is it cooked? Yes, it's cooked. Is it the last one? The last wave? I think so. Come on. Let's get it. Yes. Die. Nice. Got the upgrade. Overall, this is a nice, cheap and compact solution for day-to-day -day simple computing tasks. The GMK Tech G2 gets my recommendation. If you're interested in any of the products featured in this video, you can find them on Amazon at the links in the description below.
Let me know in the comments what do you think about this PC and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.